This time it's for real, Mexican authorities say. They have killed Nazario Moreno, one of Mexico's most notorious drug lords and leader of the criminal organization known as the Knights Templar. Y cuando estas pidieron que se entregara, abrió fuego. A top Mexican security official said Moreno, also known as El Chayo, opened fire when he was caught by Mexican soldiers at a hideout in the Mexican state of Michoacán. The announcement came as a surprise not only in Mexico but also abroad. The drug lord was supposed to be dead already. Cayó abatido. Nazario Moreno González. This Mexican official said in December of 2010, Moreno had died in a shootout with Mexican security forces. This time, however, officials say they confirmed Moreno's identity using fingerprints. They also say they're in possession of his body. Under Nazario Moreno, the Knights Templar terrorized southwestern Mexico, executing and beheading his enemies while trafficking hard drugs and extorting the population. La gota que derramó el vaso Hipólito Mora is a leader of a group of vigilantes who rose against the Knights Templar last year, driving them away from the town of Felipe Carrillo Puerto. He says their motives had nothing to do with the medieval Knights Templar, Christian warriors sworn to protect Jerusalem and the Holy Grail with their lives. Those guys were terrible, he says of the traffickers. They were responsible for murders, kidnappings, threats, beatings and extortion. After the Knights Templars fled, the vigilantes took their weapons and properties. They showed us an armored truck the traffickers used in firefights. Their leader told us the vigilantes would put down their weapons once the Knights Templar were no longer a threat and their leader was captured or dead. But it remains to be seen if the vigilantes can trust the government that has been wrong before about the death of one of their enemies. Rafael Romo, CNN, Atlanta.